Hey, uh, so I'm excited because I'm going to Comic-Con for the first time! Phoenix Comic-Con, uh, specifically. And my friend Gina, who is a goddess and amazing and wonderful, and I owe her my 32nd born child? I don't know. I owe my parents a lot of firstborn child, so... children. So, uh, I'm gonna have to get started on that. Mm. But, um, so this is my first time going to Comic-Con, and I'm going to be cosplaying as John from Sherlock, uh, plus size John. Um, I'm not gender bent John, I'm gonna bind and everything. I love binding. I never have a chance to cross-dress. And so, part of me was like, you know, you could do girl John, but I have, yesterday, I cut my hair. This is, I have two cowlicks, so it gets kind of weird back here. But I try to cut my hair as close as possible to John's haircut. And while I am a blonde, it's kind of a dirty blonde. And so I uh, I put some hydrogen peroxide on it last night and took a shower. God, my nose. I hope my nose doesn't act like this all night. But it was like this this morning. And I really don't want it to be like this all night. God, that would suck so bad. Um, but uh, I think it got a little lighter. I'm going to wash my hair again tonight when I come back. Tonight. Oh god, when am I going to be back? Ugh. Am I going to have a chance to take a shower? I hope I do. Uh, depends on when I get up tomorrow. I want to go to some of these things that start at 10.30 or so, so I'm going to need to get up early tomorrow. Like 7. I'm not going to get any sleep this week. This weekend is going to be me living off of coffee, and I better have some fucking coffee. Better have some coffee, otherwise I will be dead. But, um... So, I'm, uh, I'm gonna finally get dressed. It's 2 o'clock, and I'm going to leave for the light rail at 3.40, um, and take, like, the 4 o'clock so I can get there at 4.25 or so, because it opens, the thing is, it opens at 6, no, sorry, it opens at 4.30, but according to the programming, nothing goes on until, like, 6.30. I think that's so people can sign in, and there are exhibitors, I think. Like, that's where, like, the shops and stuff are. I like little shop. But, uh, I have my ticket, and it's so fantastic. Gina got me the full event membership, uh, in exchange for, um, drawing her a commission for whatever she wants to, uh, whatever she wants me to do, and I'm going to do a picture of her kid, I think. And I like Dylan. He's cute. Uh, but I haven't started on that, but she got me the full membership, and I just found out about this yesterday. I was like, maybe I'll go to Comic-Con, but probably not, because we were having some financial trouble anyway with Social, social Security not giving my dad what he was supposed to, because he needs to renew his, like, disability, blah, 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 or whatever. But, um, so we didn't have any money, and I was just like, no, I can't go to Comic-Con. And then suddenly it's like, you can go to Comic-Con! And I'm like, I need cosplay. So we went to Savers, and we got this stuff, and it is, it's May, and what is it going to be today, according to my iPod, which isn't always accurate, Kleenex, dear lord, a court, oh, it's only 91 right now, oh, it's only going to, it's going to be under 100 this weekend, yes, because I have, I'm going to be wearing sports bra, binding a button-up collared shirt which is half cotton half rayon and some spandex um so that's gonna be hot and then I found signature John jumper it doesn't have the swirly cable knit but it is cable knit and it's the right color because when I first got one I thought it was just cream so I got a cream girl one but it's like way too bright so it's like white and this one is oatmeal color and so I have that and then I'm also going to have my black jacket now since comic-con is on the inside I'm so glad because otherwise I would die um because I haven't I haven't tried them all on at the same time but I'll bet you I will be burning I won't be wearing the black jacket except for pictures but um so I have the hair I'll take off my glasses for pictures I don't like me without glasses I think I look weird do I look weird without glasses? Because I normally can't tell because I have 2200 vision and I can't really see shit. So, um, I look at myself and I just don't... I don't like myself. 
without glasses. But, you know, John doesn't have glasses. I've never done contacts. And my face, my fucking face, ever since I went off birth control, it was just like, you're a teenager again. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And so it's everything. So I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup. Makeup makes me really, really hot. So I don't know if that's going to work. Um, also, a lot of times when it's really hot and I'm wearing jeans, I end up getting a rash. Um, but um, I think... Because normally when I wear hose for, like, choir concerts and stuff, I never get a rash. And it's wonderful. And the hose is kind of warm. But if I wear a hose under my jeans, not only is it control top, which would be fantastic, but um, it might keep me from getting a rash. Other than I'm going to have to put on powder. And I don't want to get powder everywhere. And then you get it on your hands. And you get it... Yeah. But um, I don't know if... It's basically like I'm dressing for winter. I'm going to die. I'm going to fucking die. I don't give a crap. Because I finally get to cosplay, a legit cosplay, not a cosplay. Well, it is a cosplay put together at the last minute. It's exactly that. It is that. But um, it's it looks good. We weren't expecting to get the jumper. I thought I was just looking for a button-down shirt. but Or actually, I was looking for this, the block stripe shirt, but I mean, like... We went to a Savers, and then we went to a Goodwill. And it's like, the odds of finding that, at least one in my size, because the jumper is only a large, which is ridiculous. Um, the uh, shirt is normally extra larges. I, I tried on a bunch of extra larges, but this, some of them, the extra larges are like around my stomach, like, because I have hips. And it would fit my dad, which is, who's kind of like the same waist as me, but he doesn't have hips. So it works better for him. And... Um, yes, I'm going to be a plus size John, but cosplay is for fun. And I was looking up cosplay tips on the internet, and it was talking about how, like, you should cos only cosplay someone that you look like. But I've seen doctors that, like, girl doctors, people of color doctors, um, any, any companions, you can be, you can look like whatever and cosplay as whoever because it's for fun. And people who are just like, ew, you're a plus-sized person, not playing a plus-sized character. First of all, I was going to say, well, I could be Mycroft, but the Mycroft in Sherlock is not even fat. I love Mark Gatiss, and he is not fat. He is the opposite of fat. And so I might go Sherlocking. I might get my little post-it notes because they will kill you if you put on tape or freaking deface their property. They will kick you out. So I'm not going to do that post-it notes. Are the best. And I'm bringing my lemon. I'm bringing my lemon for uh, Lemons and Landmarks. Uh, we have an extension on it until like June 4th. Um, so I got my lemon. It's a fake lemon. So it hasn't died. It's not as yellow as regular lemons. It's like a nice, it's like, it's like this yellow car lemon. Well, that's a, can't really. It's, but regular lemons, like real lemons, are like bright lemon lemon not like Toblerone lemon but like equal parts red and green light you know yellow because they're, they're, they're sprayed with ethylene and they're not supposed to but it's just like in my pictures it doesn't look like oh it doesn't look like a real lemon it's supposed to look, it looks more like a real lemon than the real lemons okay don't judge me so I'm going to get all that set up, and, um, and like I said, it's 2 o'clock, and I'm going to get dressed, and I will get back to you when I am either doing something else, or when I finally got my shirt on, or when I'm done binding, because, hello, boobies, look at that, that is, that is, yeah, I'm a double D, uh, and that's going to be fun, but, oh god, my face, my face is what I'm, I'm not even worried about my figure so much as I am about my fucking face. Because I looked great before I went off birth control. I look wonderful. And then I went birth control. I'm 20 fucking years old. I should not be breaking out again. Uh, if I had the money, I'd go back on birth control. I don't. So, um, but I've been putting on the medicated stuff, and hopefully it'll get better by the end of the weekend. I've been doing that for like a month, and it just, it doesn't get worse. It just stays. So, I guess I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. I'm 
I'm bring my camera and I'm also gonna, I can't live vlog because it's gonna be on my regular camera and I need to charge this. I don't know if it needs charging, but I haven't used it in a while. So uh, we'll get that done and then I'll upload it. See, the thing is, I'm gonna be out until like 12. Cause the last light rail is at 11.38 and I'll be leaving the place, the Hyatt Regency Rave at 11. So, and then I need to take a shower when I get home, and then I'm going to upload my stuff to YouTube, which is just, because normally I go into iMovie and I fix everything, and then I forget about it, and then it's like a month later, and then I upload it, uh, and then it gives me problems, and then I have to go back to iMovie and change the settings, and re-export it, whatever. Uh, I'm excited, I'm, I'm excited. But I don't like my face. I don't like. I don't. I don't like this. It's just just my my whole face. I've never liked my face, and I don't like my smile. You know, just I don't. I don't like it. It's like too much teeth. Yeah. God, it looks like I had a stroke. Whatever. 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 I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to get dressed, and I'll get back to you. Okay.